Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am Bert the Stormtrooper and this is the home of That's Just Prime, the comprehensive Optimus Prime review series. I also review other Transformers, lots of G1 stuff, as well as Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Ghostbusters, GoBots, and pretty much any other toy that may jump out at me. I also do the occasional arcade and pinball machine videos, unboxings, blogs, challenges, and miscellaneous videos where my daughter usually makes fun of me. Those are a lot of fun. If you're new to the channel, thanks for checking me out. Please be sure to click that subscribe button and don't forget to give me a thumbs up and share if you like what you see. Hello and welcome, I'm Bert the Stormtrooper and today we're going to be taking a look at the Transformers War for Cybertron Earthrise Deluxe Class Smokescreen and I haven't opened it yet so I don't know if I love this toy. We're going to save that for the end of the video. However, if Blue Streak is any indication, I'm pretty sure that I'm going to love it. So this is a deluxe class figure. It was released in the fall of 2020. So this guy's starting to hit stores right now as of the time of this recording. I saw one in the store today. However, I already had this one thanks to my good friend Patriot Prime who had already found one and sent one to me in the mail. So Jason, thank you so much. I am really looking forward to this figure. Like I said, it was released in the fall of 2020. It's hitting stores right now as of the time of this recording. It is a deluxe class figure, so it retails for approximately $19.99. Uh, and we can see the packaging here. It's the window packaging that we've gotten used to seeing. Uh, he's packaged in robot mode. You got some weapons up here at the top. You got some artwork of smoke screen right there on the side. We got our Earthrise um, artwork on the back of it, or on the other side rather. On the back, we've got the product shot showing us smoke screen in both robot and in vehicle mode. So let's get this guy out of the package and check it out. And here we have smoke screen out of the package showing everything he comes included with and transformed into vehicle mode. So real quick, we'll just show off uh, what he comes with. If he's got the insert, of course, with the piece of the map. He's also got his decoder. So if we use this on the map, we're going to see Planet Junkion. And then down here at the bottom, we have Planet Paradron, I think, is what, the, what this one is. So uh, this is kind of new for me. I haven't noticed before that they're now starting to put two planets on the map pieces. So maybe they've done this before, but it's my first time actually noticing that. So there's that piece there. And of course, he came with his instruction sheet, which, as usual, as has been the case for Earthrise and Siege, it's very well illustrated and the steps are very nicely shown throughout the uh, entire instru instruction sheet there. And then finally, we've got the vehicle itself. We'll get zoomed in. We'll show off the vehicle and we'll show off the weapon. So, of course, he came with, it's pretty much the same weapons that we saw with Blue Streak. So, we've got a hand rifle. This time, it is painted in blue. And then we've got the two shoulder, uh, shoulder weapons. So, we've got two of these uh, and they're going to be identical to each other. So, if you want to use the weapons in vehicle mode, you can plug this one up here and then you can take these and plug them into the hood in the area that's going to eventually be his shoulders as well. So, you can do that. And something that I forgot to show off with Blue Streak is that you can actually take these and also peg them into the sides of the big rifle. If you wanted to make like a triple barreled weapon, you can do that as well. So that's something you can do. I forgot to show that off with Blue Streak, so there it is. As far as the vehicle mode goes, the vehicle is approximately five inches long, about an inch and a half tall. Exactly the same as Blue Streak. And as you know, this is just a light retool. Um, I don't know which one came first, but they are light retools of each other. I think this one actually came first. So, yeah, we've got really nice details. The red stripe along the top there with the nice Autobot symbol right there in the middle of the hood. Black um, headlights and some black details along the white bumper there in the front with the blue stripe. We've got the white stripes that go all the way across the side of the vehicle, all the way to the back. Number 80 on the doors and then the rest of the vehicle is blue we got those clear but tinted windows on the sides and the front there and then we've also got clear tinted on the back of here what's going to become the shins later back of the vehicle we got some details not a lot of color everything is blue here so we could probably use some stickers for some tail lights and some um license plate as well and then of course the wheels which unfortunately are not um painted uh this is something that i really liked about blue streak is that they were painted silver uh, these are not only are the wheels not painted and they're just plain black but then the peg right there in the middle where they clip onto is blue and that really kills the look for me that 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 really needed some paint uh, other than that pretty much the same exact as 
Blue Streak with some minor mold differences. We'll, bl we'll bring Blue Streak in for comparison. So you can see the front of the bumpers are different. Of course, in Blue Streak, they are the regular, uh, like a, just a regular car that you would see out on the street, where on Smokescreen, it's going to be the, the hood or the front, the little racing bumper, or whatever you want to call that. I'm not really sure what you would call that but it's like the scoop or this this racing bumper there uh which is a difference that was actually seen with these uh you know all going all the way to g1 the masterpiece figures also have the different hoods or the bumpers rather so that's really good to see there around the side uh they are going to look very similar my blue streak's not picked in all the way they're going to be very similar along the side of the vehicle as well as the back so there you go so that's what these two guys are going to look like together and just for a couple of more comparisons we'll back it up just a little bit and we'll get this guy in the front here we'll bring in side swipe so you can see what all of these guys are going to look like together let's do let's do it like this yeah that's a nice shot and then we'll also bring in rc so you can see what all these guys are going to look like together so yeah that's looking like a really nice cool team there so now getting into transformation, of course, it's going to be the exact same that we saw on Blue Streak. So we're just going to go ahead and start right here with the doors, pop these off. As you know, these doors are going to be pegged into the side of the arm right there. So just peg those off, grab these little uh, little blocks down here at the bottom, and we'll just go ahead and pop these out. And that should allow us to go ahead and just kind of split the car in half and get the whole rear of the robot extended out. Go ahead and turn them at the waist. We'll separate the legs, we'll finish off the legs, we'll bring these down, bring that panel down, and that's pretty much it for the legs, and it looks like we need to adjust our camera, so we'll go ahead and do that now, see if that's going to be tall enough, yep, that looks good. So, come to the hood, bring the arms down, and then bring them out, and rotate them so that the wheels are facing back. Go ahead and pop the hood down, and bring it all the way flat like this. Good time to turn the head around and then we're going to bring this on these hinges and we're going to kind of accordion everything down and then that tab is going to peg into that slot right there in the torso so we'll bring everything down you kind of got to shimmy it sometimes for whatever reason i usually get the alignment wrong with the doors there there we go bring that all the way down that's going to peg into place then the arms are going to come down and they're going to tab in right there on those tab and slots bring that down and this side is not lined up properly. This is an issue I've actually, this, I'm glad this happened. This has happened a couple of times I've noticed with my, I think this might be just a thing with my copy. That this seems to be a little further back than it should be. And that tab doesn't naturally line up with the slot on the arm like that. I don't know if that's coming through on camera or not. And I have to really just push it to get it to fit in there. That may just be on my copy. I don't know. We'll go ahead and straighten them out. Open up his wing doors, make sure that's all tabbed in. And finally, we'll bring in his weapons, split this up, and we'll put his shoulders cannons on. Give him his rifle, and here we have Smokescreen now in robot mode, and of course, he looks fantastic. Here in robot mode, smoke screen is, of course, about five and a half inches tall. That's the same as Blue Streak was. They're Mold Brothers. They're Autobot Brothers. There are going to be a lot of similarities with these guys. And, yeah, he looks really good. We've got a new mold on the face, so we'll bring that guy in close so you can see what that guy looks like. And uh, real quick, we'll just bring Blue Streak in again so you can see what these guys look like together. And you can see very different head sculpts there. So very nice. I really like the way that they're differentiating them by changing out the head sculpts. That's, that's a really, really nice touch. So they got the little details on the car, for example, on the bumper, the detail on the head there, you know, just to kind of differentiate them. The only thing that I'm missing on these, and I don't have Prowl yet. He's scheduled to come in later this week, and I'm really excited about that. Uh, but I know that it, in, off the top of my head, I don't remember which one it is, but I know that at least one of these guys, the wheels is supposed to be up on the top of the shoulder rather than on the back. They're not, all three of them, they're not supposed to have their wheels in the back here if we're going by G1. Of course, this is Earthrise, so maybe they do all have them on the back now, but if we're going by G1 standards, uh, which these guys just look very G1, 
uh, one of these guys, and again, I, I don't remember which, uh, but one of these guys had the wheels on the top of the shoulders, and I think it might have been smokescreen. I, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Correct me down in, in the comments if you know. Uh, once again, for articulation, the head is on a ball joint, so you got up and down, side to side. Shoulders can go uh, forward and backward all the way around, and they can also go in and out on their proper joint. And then, of course, if that doesn't stay tight, then you can bring them up even further. You got a rotation at the bicep, bend at the elbow, and rotation at the wrist. We've got waist rotation. The hips can go all the way forward, and they can go back that far. If you try to push this back any further, you saw this with my blue streak, you're going to pop the top half of the robot off of that mushroom peg. We have a rotation right there at the thigh, bend at the knee, forward and backward, and the ankles, and of course that ankle tilt for those wide stances so yes really really nice and like i said prowl is scheduled to come in i think tomorrow or the day after tomorrow one of those two i'm really looking forward to getting all three of these guys together so let's get this guy right here in the middle and we'll do some comparisons and of course we're gonna bring in blue streak so we can see what these guys look like together that just looks so so nice uh, let's bring in a baddie. I haven't been doing any bad guys. Let's do a bad guy comparison. Here he is with the uh, Quintesson Alicon. So you can see what these guys look like together. And I just love... <laughs> I'm going to put more comments on this guy in his review, but I just love the way this guy looks. He's just... He's cute. He's adorable. I love it. But yeah, there you go. So you can see what these guys look like together. We'll bring in Sideswipe so you can see these guys next to each other. And then why don't we just do this? Let's just bring them all in. Bring side stripe off to the back there. We'll bring in Blue Streak. And then finally, we'll bring in RC. And the team is looking really, really nice. I'm really loving this Earthrise. Again, I've said it before. I'll say it again. I had uh, made a decision to stop buying mainline figures. Siege and Earthrise have, have just pulled me right back in. This line is so cool for the G1 lovers like myself. This line is really kind of like that modernized G1 that we always wanted. It's an absolutely amazing line. So final verdict on Smokescreen, I love this toy. And I think that about covers the Transformers War for Cybertron Earthrise Deluxe Class Smokescreen. What did you think of this figure? Let me know down in the comments. Give me some thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that bell icon so you're notified when I upload a new video. I've got that donate button up there. If you want to hit on that, I certainly would appreciate it. Share with your friends if you like what you see, and I'll talk to you next time.